How's it going guys? We're back. Um, this is something different. My um, boat has a uh, Volvo Penta GL 5 liter um, V8 engine and needs some spring maintenance. So I uh, got the carb off um, just to, you know, rebuild it essentially. Unfortunately, in the process of doing that, I found that the intake is severely damaged over the winter. That is not good. So we need one of the new one of these guys. Um, so I'm gonna have a video on that. I think I'm gonna do them separately. This actually, um, I've done some research. This is the um, freshwater intake, and um, you can buy these intake manifolds um, for regular. Uh, car engines, um, but the big difference, in case you're wondering and you don't, didn't do the research that I just did, um, is that the marine ones, specifically the Volvo Penta brand, have brass um, inlays in this area so that there's less corrosion. Um, that's the difference. Otherwise, they're basically identical. It's aluminum, um, but just so you know. All right, side note, sorry. So back to the carburetor. We're going to take this apart and walk us through um, uh, rebuilding this carburetor. I hope uh, that you find this guys helpful and as always if you like my videos um, give it a like and uh, subscribe. I'll try to keep posting some content um, so stay tuned. Alright so we're going to remove this um, electric choke first. It's uh, three little Phillips head screws and uh, I'm going to lay everything out so you can keep track of it. This is a Holly carburetor in case I didn't say that before. Um, and it's a two barrel, which means one, two. Um, some of them are four. Um, you can identify them by the numbers right here. And uh, part numbers, and you know, that's how you can tell in order of the correct rebuild kit. This will help you guys out a lot. Um, oh, focus there. There we go. See the line? right there and the line there they need to line up exactly the same when you pull it off so um, just remember or make yourself a mark that the line on the cover here has to be the same on there um, comes right off it's spring loaded this is what it looks like inside when you reinstall you need to make sure that this piece oops, this piece goes in the center of this band right here and right in there and then twist it so that it winds up again with that mark next up are these three phillips there and we'll remove this um, casing for the choke all right so we got a little holding pin on um that goes right in the side there and that holds the housing That's connected right in here, and this little tiny pin holds it on, so don't lose this pin. And that's it. That's all you have on the side. So we move on to oops, this part of the uh, carburetor. All right, so we got four um, eight millimeter bolts. We're going to take off and continue the disassembly. All right, so we got those four bolts out, and this piece should come out all together, which it does. And we'll work on this first. First up, we're going to take this little spring out of here. And um, once we take that out, we're going to take this little clip off, pop that off there. And this whole float comes out. All right, so I took that little clip off, and the spring is out. So you just little wiggle, comes out in one piece. Some people test these floats so I'm not going to do that um, but that's also part of the rebuild sometimes is testing the float and uh, next up is right there we get this plastic cover off and we'll keep going here so it's just as simple as pulling with your finger and it pops right out here and you need a wrench to get that out of there before you go cranking on it uh, remember the orientation of that spring so that you can 
put it back in incorrectly. We're going to replace it in the kit. So we're just going to, simple as that, comes right out. Right, so it's a half inch. I'm not going to do it with, <laughs> with only one hand, but half inch. I'm not used to working in American. Um, and this comes out, and we'll put the new one in. This is what it looks like when you pull it out. Um, just so you are aware, don't forget that gasket's in there when you, when you go to replace it. All right, so we've got the uh, bowl completely disassembled, and now we need to remove the accelerator pump. Um, on here, it's just the four Phillips, and um, it's got a little spring in it. It's not super... Um, they're gonna shoot off if you remove them, so but just uh, be aware that it's under under some tension. Right, as I said, it's under some tension. There's a spring there, and you're just gonna remove it, put it together. There is a gasket, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we've got the this is the new one installed there. This is the one I removed. It actually looks shorter, like it got chewed off or something. Um, here is the old. gasket. You can really see it's uh, not in the greatest condition. The new one looks a little different, but um, same type thing. Here's the spring and that better end goes on the bottom. Oops, better end goes on the bottom. And there's the piece and we are done with this portion. So I've got everything laid out to keep track of it as I'm taking it apart. It's very important to do this when you do carburetor work because there are so many tiny little pieces to go back together and you don't want to forget something. All right, so on to the big piece of the carburetor. This is the most important. Take your time. Remember where everything goes. Take a razor blade, run around the edge here, all the way around, and that'll free it up. I've done that already. And um, let me show you ladle. Those are off, yep. And there she is. All right, so we're going to replace this as part of the rebuild. So um, crescent wrench is the easiest way to get them off. Uh, remove the gasket here. And just put a crescent wrench and um, loosen this up. All right, here's the one I just removed. Notice the gasket. Make sure you put a new gasket on. And here's the replacement. Um, I didn't look in the directions. One of the ways you can tell it's got it square on the side there, square on the side there. It does say 40 pounds to reinstall, but we'll go over that again once we get there. On the side here are the idle underneath these, these caps. So just pop them off and I'll show you what's underneath. All right, so helpful hint here. Keep track of the number of times you spin from where it's marked. And then leave yourself a note or um, mark it so that you can get pretty close when you reinstall for tuning. There's one on each side and there's a um, cork gasket type thing um, that's holding them in. And I'll show it to you once I pull it out, but uh, make sure you replace them. They're usually in your kit. So again, just make sure you count the number of rotations as you take it out. All right, so that's what we'll focus. I don't, that's what it looks like. And made myself a little note. It took eight turns to get it out, full turns. Right in there, you can see the nasty looking uh, cork gasket. So we're just going to get that out of there and put the new one in. Right, there it is, a little tiny thing. That's that cork gasket we're going to replace. And let's do the other side. Same thing on this side. Um, this one took seven turns. Got the little gasket out there. And we going to turn on the other side here. All right, so my understanding is that this black um, plastic piece is unique to boat marine uh, carburetors. And just notice where the orientation of the gasket is um, over the top of it. So let's get this gasket off and that little black piece. Basically, yeah, these can stay in, they're just ports, and you can spray some carburetor cleaner in there. That'll be more than good. Next up is this screw down here. 
Um, it's got a like a spacer almost, a couple gaskets, and then there's a little pin at the bottom. So I'm going to take it off this way first, and then just tip it over and dump out, and I'll show you the little pin once we get it out. Here are the pieces that I was just talking about. The uh, I'm going to call it little extension sits like that with the piece. Um, those those little two teeth they sit down on the um, on the edge in here. Can you see? Not really. down there right there that little notch sits around that thing when you reinstall it it's got gaskets on both sides do not forget to replace them or you'd be in big trouble that's one of them and at the very bottom of that is this and it sits in the bottom with the point pointing down um, inside the carburetor so all right, so that's basically it. So this is what we got. Started there, worked our way out, electric choke. That's the front part. Don't forget that little pin. The bolts that hold everything together, the float, the spring, and a little, hold, little holding clip. Mixed in replacement parts. The bowl, all the way up here gaskets and replacement pieces. Let's start the reassembly. First up is our pin. We're going to go in reverse order and I'm going to use it just a pair of needle nose to drop it down in there. There we go. And then the gaskets and extender are next. We're going to put new gaskets in, on both sides and in the bolt. So that's it. It can be challenging, so it's. Um, I'm going to use a needle nose, I think, put them together. All right, just so you can see what I meant, see how the groove fits in there? That's the correct orientation. All right, we're installing with new cork gaskets. We're going to do the eight side first. Um, I found install the screw all the way in first so that the gasket sits down in there. Back it all the way back out and then do your, your turns. This side is the eight side, so we're going to do eight turns once it starts to grab the threads. Now let's reinstall the gasket here. It can only go one way if you flip it over. Oops goes in that hole and does it on this side. So there's only one way it can go. And then it goes on there. Like that. Sits down right in there. And ready for the next one. Alright, let's remember this black plastic thing that's special to Marine. And get our gasket installed here and we'll be good to go all right let's do some reason assembly on the uh, bowl here so first step is let's get the new don't forget the uh, gasket that comes in the kit and screw it in and tighten it down all right, I've got the new part installed and next up is this little guy moving right along here we got the uh, plastic covering reinstalled. Next up is the float. I might be able to do this one here. Maybe not. Those two little prongs that stand up on the float here. Make sure they're inside of the spring. The light is turning off. There we go. Before you install. And it slides in. 
Yeah. Make sure those two prongs are inside the spring. You can see from the side, and it slides into this. Careful when you do it though, that doesn't spin. It's very, very important that that's not, it goes in between. Oh my God, this is impossible. There, there, We're looking good. So, it's very hard to see. But that is in between there. That's on that pipe, and the spring is up in between these two grooves. When you look at it, the bowl should be parallel to the bottom of the float, or the float should be parallel to the bottom of the, to the bowl, which mine is, and that's how you know you're in there correctly. Do not forget the retaining clip. Do not forget. All right, so I'm gonna reinstall the bowl here. I wanna get that little bit of chip paint out of there first, but, and then the accelerator pump I'm gonna put on after this is installed. Don't forget the gaskets that go on here. These are the old ones. Here's the setup for what we're putting back on with the new piece. So don't forget about this little washer there. <clears throat> and we're going to install it back on there. Also, don't forget the new pin for right here when you're reinstalling. The new gasket on looks a lot different than the one that I removed. And we're going to line up the that little hole there on the spring with this little guy there. So we're just going to do one of these. On there you can feel the tension and then like we said we're going to line up that mark on the top right yep there it is that mark right there and screw it in and we'll be done i hope this helped you guys uh comment in the section if i can help you um Anything I missed or went over too fast, uh, happy to do that. And um, otherwise, it's uh, put it back on a new or refurbished or used intake manifold, and I'm going to do a separate video for that. Thanks for watching, as always. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video or if it helped you out, and, and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe.